Yo, yo, welcome back. Today we are looking at the next function on the Porter Pack H4M or H2 on the Mayhem software or firmware. And that is going to be NRF. So let's dive into this by going down to receive. And we're gonna go down to NRF. Our last video that we did on this was over ProtoView. So if you haven't, go check that out. But let's hop into NRF. Now, if you don't know what NRF is, NRF is a low kind of energy, like Bluetooth variant of the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. So uh, like mouse and keyboards, wireless mouse and keyboards. So like these little dongles that you get with some of your mice and or keyboards, uh, those transmit at that NRF 2.4 gig uh, area. And you can see here that we're already populating some uh, NRF frequencies that, are, that we are receiving from nearby mice and keyboards. But getting into NRF, um, this is the NRF decoder app. NRF is a proprietary low power and low cost transceiver that operates in the 2.4 gig range um, produced by the Nordic Semiconductor. Uh, I'm getting all this off of the uh, Mayhem documentation or the wiki, if you will. And so you can follow along if you want to. It is often seen as NRF24L01, and they are cheap little transceivers. This app, you can use it in the Porter Pack to decode data sent from the NRF24 transceiver and see some data messages. It currently only supports the 250 KPS mode. Looking into it, here we can see some data, and we can see that we are, again, receiving some of those features that we discussed earlier. There's not a lot to this app yet, uh, but modem setup, we can tap modem. No, well, that's not modem, that's battery. We have our modem here. We have the Bell 11202. We can change that to the 11103, the V21, the V23M1, and so on and so forth. We have our baud rate, our marks, and then our mark hertz, our space hertz, and then repeat, and then serial format. This app, it's pretty straightforward. Um, if there's a device that it can decode and is in the vicinity, then you'll be able to see such transmissions going. I don't currently have one of those chips on me, um, so I can't really show you too much of that, but I did wanted to show you the kind of basics of this app. Um, NRF24 is, kind of found in a lot of devices. So like this little chip right here, this is the NRF24 chip that was sent to me by Elecro. And then you know that the Flipper Zero with the appropriate NRF boards can uh, do mouse jacking on some mice that have the older chips in them. So that's kind of just a bit. If you are interested in an NRF24 project, uh, check out PCBWay, uh, today's sponsor. They have a lot of really cool shared projects that we can look into. And if there's something that intrigues you, uh, reach out to me. Maybe we can get a little sponsorship going from them and we can get some boards printed that I can do a giveaway with. Um, I really do like the shared project areas because I am not a coder or nor am I a PCB uh, developer or creator as of yet. Um, so the shared projects are kind of like my area to like really learn and see like what others have done in the community. They have a really, really extensive catalog. Uh, there's quite a bit of NRF24 stuff on there that we can definitely look into. Um, Cause you know, remember that this is all on the receive side for now. So when we get to the transmit side, we will be doing some of the mouse jacking and some of the other uh, keyboard uh, stuff with, their, with that as well. Um, and whatever else we can kind of figure out together. That gives us plenty of time to kind of uh, look at a possible shared project from PCBWay and get it printed in time. And we can do a giveaway with that. They have been a great sponsor for this channel. Their community is awesome. Their customer service is always amazing. Give them a shout out, check them out. Uh, link in the description below to say some dough. Um, but back to NRF, there's really not a lot to this. Like I, like I said, it's a, it's a super simple app. One thing I will say though, that the documentation on the Mayhem uh, wiki area isn't really, doesn't really break down the modem setup. Maybe that's something that we can get going and uh, one of us can possibly write a better article regarding that. That's it for NRF24 on the Portifac Mayhem H2N or H4M. I'm still running the nightly of the 250220, so that is February, about a month old now. Uh, actually a little over a month old, so I do need to update my uh, firmware there. Um, I just haven't done it yet because I have to put in the new Clifford uh, 2025 board 
uh, into my H4M. And as you can see, we no longer have the SMAs on the clocks right here. So that is super exciting. Um, so stay tuned for a video on this. I'm just waiting for a battery from Rabbit Labs to put in here as well. I believe the official uh, name on this board is the CH25 r10 plus i think that is uh, clifford's uh, actual name for this board stay tuned for that board uh coming out here in a few weeks or days possibly um again thank you for thank you all for watching i know that this video was kind of just just going over what that app really is not a lot to it um but i want to get off my list because you know i want to keep going down the list for what we have in store coming uh for the receive side of things because we're almost done uh next we have fm radio and then we have AFSK and then analog TV. Um, those last two may be a little similar to this video, depending on what I can get my hands on to kind of showcase what those can do. Um, analog TV would be a really, really fun one. I just need to kind of hopefully locate a UHF old school uh, transmitter um, to kind of show that because not a lot of stuff is analog anymore. Um, if you didn't know that, at least in my area, uh, I believe all of our uh, stations are digital now. Um, so receiving analog things has been, has become quite difficult uh, unless you have some old school uh, equipment to transmit analog imaging via TV. So again, I know this video was just super just kind of like, eh, yeah, whatever, you know. But again, I want to get off the list because we want to get done so we can get into the next portion of all this and get into the TX side of things, which has been a long, long time coming because we are now a year into all these features. Um, so... Again, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video.